Martin, man, they uh, they got they got back at 30-26. I mean, um, you know, what what'd you guys think there in the third quarter when they started coming back? Man, they started coming back. I seen my team was down. I just wanted to pick them up as much as I can, be an emotional leader. And we was able to do that on the field, making plays and it boosted my team up. Right. I mean, you, you rattled off at least like five or six runs over 30 yards. Um, every time there was a big block at the edge, you know, how important was that getting that corner? Hey, seat? Terrell did an outstanding job on the edge. I can't thank him enough. He sealed that edge and Levi led me up. And after that, one man on the open field, I don't think he could stop me. Right. And um, kind of had a little vandalism incident last night at South. Uh, hey. was, that, was that something you guys even talked about at all? Oh, or? yeah. every All day. every yeah. The whole school, the whole county was on the news. We had to talk about it. They came in our backyard and disrespected us. So we wanted to come out here and disrespect them. <laughs> right, the scoreboard. Right. In, the, in the right way. Yeah, yes, yeah. sir. Exactly, exactly. And, um, I mean, I thought a uh, defense did a good job. It was uh, yes. a tough offense to play against. You know, what would you think of your guys on the other side? That, um, that pistol offense is hard to stop. Yeah. I, I would love to run it one day. And um, Chris, he did a great job running it. But, but all, we got veterans, basically. Uh -huh. So we're just going to stop, find a way to stop it sooner or later. It's not going to work the whole game. Right. And uh, they, they kind of dominated the third quarter. But um, fourth quarter was you guys. I mean, and that's where you kind of talk about that, the veterans again. You know, right. how, how, how big is it to, to have so many experienced guys on one team? Man. It's, it helps a lot because uh, we got a lot of young guys here, a lot of guys that don't really know what they're doing. And, but everybody just comes along with those veterans. They bring us all together. Right, good deal. And uh, you guys have uh, up the eight wins already, and right. um, you know got a big game coming up next week. You know yeah. what? Uh, what, what, do you, what do you think you guys got to do against these players? Senior night, come out, no mistakes, limit the penalties. Uh, senior night, it's our last time playing at home. Right. Besides the playoffs, and we have a big crowd there. We hope everybody come out and support us. All right, good deal, bud. Thanks. Yes, sir. First off, I mean, you had a uh, big run there in the start of the second half. You know, run me through uh, what happened there. It looked like you found, like, a little seam and then. Yeah, like, from the get-go, I told my team that we was going to run left. So, once I got it, I ran fast from the start, and I found the seam between Devontae and Grit. I just cut it up. Just cut it up. <laughs> um, you had a, a little bit harder time on uh, defense. So, you know, t tell me what it's like playing against that offense they've got. They throw the ball a lot. Oh, well, we practiced it over and over in practice. And, like, in a game, it's totally different because the practice, we don't have the skill as they have. So it's a whole different story. You just got to play, like, how you know to play. So right. use that knowledge. Right. And I think it was kind of fortunate that you guys had the week off before. You know, I yeah. mean, how, how important was that week of extra, you know, I mean, I guess like an extra couple of days of practice. Yeah, it, it just helped us recuperate and, like, get our heads back in the game because we did suffer a bad loss. And, right. like, we just knew we had to come together as a team and play hard. Right, but I would say it, it looked certainly like you guys had shook it off. You know, what, what was the uh, what was the team's mood entering entering tonight's game? Oh, we just knew that we had to come together and play hard, at, hard with each other and have each other back. You know that everybody got their responsibilities and they're gonna do it. All right, good deal. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Was told about the incident that went on at school. Was that was that something you guys talked about, or did you kind of just try to downplay it a little kids bit? Kids will be kids. Uh, right. that, that was not their football team. That was not right. Coach Bishop. Um, kids will be kids. Um, what, what happened happened. Uh, that certainly had nothing to do with what happened on the field tonight. Right. Um, and as as far as the uh, third quarter, I mean, they really they really kind of took the momentum in the third quarter. You know, how how big was it in the fourth to get some some long runs and just kind of seize that momentum? Back? Well, well, they're good. Uh, they're good, and and we helped them with the penalties. Right. And, um, we turned the ball over when they kicked it to us one time. Uh, anytime you give a team like that uh, hope and belief, you know, they're pretty dangerous. Uh, but again, our fourth quarter, we, we, we came together uh, and we kind of took it from them. Right. Uh, we took it to them. By, and by doing that, we took it from them. So. Right. And um, Markman was over uh, 400 yards of total offense. He had over, like 350 rushing. Um, I mean, that's, that's the kind of performance you need in a game like this. Well, big players make big plays. And, <laughs> right. and he certainly makes good plays. Right. And um, as far and he as he couldn't have done that without our offensive line, uh, Julian right. Birch on that right side and Colin Bruton on the left side, and of course B Big Terrell and uh, uh, Deshaun Lee blocking for him on the edge. Uh, yeah, yeah. With it, everybody else, it, it's a total team effort tonight. And uh, uh, hat goes off to Coach Bishop and his staff. Um, but we're lucky to be we're county champions. We're proud right. of that as one of our goals to start the season. Um, we're going to enjoy this tonight and then turn our attention to East Bladen. Right.